All right, A-Dub gang, we are not out in the, uh, at the pond today. We are actually uh, out in the woods. And uh, that's because we are berry picking today, boys. We're out here picking nature's natural food. What we're gonna be doing is we're actually gonna be making some cobbler out of these berries, but we're also going to be using them as fishing bait. Hopefully for some brim and some bluegill, maybe a bass, I don't even know. But hopefully we're gonna find some. I'm gonna show you guys what we're looking for, what we're grabbing. I've actually got a couple right now in my bucket. Nothing too crazy yet, but I think the money holds up here. So we're gonna go ahead and walk up here, see if we can find us any berries. It's hot, you can tell I'm sweating. It is very freaking hot, very freaking humid. But you know what, the berries are sprouting, so we out here picking them. This is actually what we're looking for right here. You can tell these are blackberries. They actually come on a vine, and the leaves are a pointed leaf with little like razor cut edges on the sides of them. That's how you can tell. They usually grow on roads and fence patches, stuff like that. You might can even find some next to your ponds that you go fishing at. But I'm pretty sure that bluegill will actually eat these things. So we're gonna go ahead and pick some. These are actually kind of small. You can tell I've got a couple bigger ones in here. These things are actually spread throughout the whole entire patch of woods I'm in. So we're gonna go ahead and get some bigger ones and hopefully we're gonna be able to have enough to make a cobbler and to make some bait. So let's go ahead, pick some of these and I'll go ahead and show you guys after I get done. All right, everybody, we are down here at the pond now. This is actually the one that's really covered in scum, algae, whatever the heck you wanna call it. This nasty green stuff. We're actually gonna go up to this other pond that has a dock and we're gonna try out there. I actually have some other fruits with me and I brought some worms. I'll go ahead and show you guys that. So I snagged a couple raspberries out of my fridge as well. Um, and of course I've got the blackberries. And we also brought some worms just in case this doesn't work out, I can still catch some fish, but I really think this is gonna work. We're gonna kinda do a blackberry versus raspberry, see if one of them works better than the other. These are the ones I picked and then these right here, I just got out of the fridge. So we'll give it a shot and uh, we'll see. This is the setup we're gonna be using, just a little spinning rod, a little small one, got a bobber and a hook. Might take the bobber off, not really sure, but we're gonna go up here, give it a shot, and see if we can catch anything. We actually made blackberry cobbler, like I said, and it was very tasty, very good. I'm not gonna show that in this video because I, uh, I picked out on it, we'll just say that. But it was very good. If you guys have never tried blackberry cobbler, you should definitely try it. Go out there, find you some blackberries, just go on the edges of some fields or fences or places like that. Go get you some blackberries, cook you up some food, and then go catch some fish. Let's go ahead, go up here and go catch some. So this is our little setup right here. We're gonna take the bobber off for the time being. We're gonna see if we can just use just a hook. And we're gonna start with blackberries. I don't know how I'm gonna hook these. I was gonna try to pull these off a little bit at a time. But I just really don't know if that's gonna work or not. This is a little more difficult than I had imagined. Oh, we got one. Get on there, baby. Oh, I dropped it. All right, so I got some put on, oh my gosh. I got some put on a hook. I don't really know if it's going to work or not. We're just going to have to give her a shot. I don't see any bluegill. Usually they're hanging around here. Usually. Oh, you sucker. One was just playing with it. I don't really know if they like want to eat this or if it's just like a reaction bite. I don't really know. That was a little little brim though. This might be a little bit more difficult than I had imagined. I'm not 100% sure. But uh heck, we're still going to try it. Here we go. Got three more on there. I figured out the method for how to do this. I'm actually using my glasses to kind of look for these bluegill. I did see one or two. I don't know where they went. Oh, there he is right there. Golly, dude. Something keeps jumping over there. I don't know what that is either.
Oh my gosh. No way. No way, dude. Are you kidding me? Dude, that's a freaking slab. That's a freaking slab on blackberries. I was honestly just kind of doubting myself. Oh my gosh. I didn't think that I was going to get bit. And that son of a gun just about took the rod out of my hand for some freaking blackberries, dude. Gosh, I can't even get the hook out. But look at that thing. That's a freaking slab and a half, son. Oh. Slab and a half. Look at that thing compared to my hand. Okay. He's ready to go back in the water. We're going to go ahead, unhook him, and put him back. Look at that. On freaking blackberries, dude. Fish do eat berries. Now, is it as good as a worm? Probably not. But it will work. We're about to rebait. Rebait up and see what we can get. That was freaking crazy. That was just straight up berries. There was nothing else on there. Literally just straight up berries. I think they can kind of smell it. That was with the blackberry. You can tell right here. I've been pulling some off. Let's pull a couple more off. See if we can get it baited up like it's supposed to be. All I'm doing is just pulling off a little clump and then just taking my hook and just running it through right there and you can see just three little tiny berries off of that big berry and then all i was doing was i was just holding it right here i mean that's all i was doing was literally i was just holding it there's two or three of them right there oh my gosh one just slammed it Oh, they're over here now. They've smelled that juice and they're coming straight up over here now. Freaking smoking. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is one of the worms I brought. He's escaping. He's escaping his prison. This is very messy. 10 out of 10 would not recommend if you don't want to get messy. Because uh, I got juices all over my hands. Literally all over my hands honestly they're probably gonna just pull it off this cast but i don't have it on there very good but screw it we're just gonna try might as well i mean what the heck dude i can't believe that one just freaking nailed it that's so crazy and now they won't even touch it how much sense does that make might need to rebait Yep, definitely have to rebate. Yeah, gum, dude. We have a friend joining us today. This would be a deer. It was right here in front of me. This is a little baby deer. That's crazy. I don't know what the heck's going on over here, but there keeps like. There's like a bunch of huge explosions that keep happening in these trees. So I like really wish I brought a bass rod and I just don't have one with me. So I really think I'm gonna have to go back to the house and get one because whatever it is that's exploding, I'm pretty sure it's just big bass. It might be crazy. Probably smoke them on a frog. Dang son, something big just came up right there. Sheesh, eat my blackberries. I'm gonna let these things sink. Why not? All right, a Dove gang, it has been a hot minute since we've had a bite. So we're going to cheat and we're going to use a worm because worms should get eaten. I mean, it should get eaten. So we're just gonna give it a try and see, we did catch one fish, so we are successful, but we can't just catch one fish for the video. That's just stupid. So let's see if we can catch another one. I got a little bit of blackberry, a little bit of worm on here. So we'll see how that does. it, dude. They done cleaned me off that quick. Check it out. These suckers right here are fast. I'm not even kidding. I probably need a smaller hook to be honest. It's a little big, but... That's all we got to work with. So that's just, uh, that's how we're rolling today. Know what I mean? This little dude right here is uh, looking pretty good. Come on, baby. 
gotcha. Oh no. Dude, he just robbed me, dude. I just had that one. I just got robbed. I just got freaking robbed. Dang it, dude. Why are these fish so smart? Oh, dang, we actually got one. Haha, <laughs> heck yeah, baby. Let's go. Let's go. At least we finally caught another one. Ow. Blue gill, son. Blue gill. All right. Might try the berries again. Oh, man. I don't know if it's going to work or not. We're going to just have to give her a gander. We're just going to roll with two berries. See what she does. I mean, that gun, we caught a big one on them. Oh, crap, dude. Dang, they just ate the freaking... Bruh. They're like schooling over here. Like legit. Those, those bluegill are getting freaking feisty. I just had another one just bite just my bare hook. Nothing on there. Like, what the heck's going on, dude? Watch this. I bet they'll eat it if I throw it. Maybe not. Dang it. Crap! He just ate off my stupid blackberries. I just watched him do it. That stupid idiot. That gummit, dude. These suckers right here are smart. They are smart boys. Small blackberries. Okay. Right on the pointy part of the hook. See how that does. Dang, they just came up for it right there. Oh, come on. They pick it, and then it's just not eating it anymore. Hmm. They're getting too smart for me. They're getting too smart for me. This may quite honestly be the dumbest idea I've ever had. But you know what? We caught one on it, so... Dang it, dude. They keep flashing on it. Oh, you sucker. They can't eat the hook the whole entire way. That's the big issue. They can't eat the hook. They can't eat the freaking hook, dude. That's where I'm messing up. This quite honestly might be the messiest fishing bait I've ever used. Chicken livers. Ain't got nothing on blackberries, son. These things right here are disgusting. I just have juices all over my my hands and everywhere. It's bad. All we need is a slab. If a slab would just pick it up, it would be fine. Because the slabs can eat the hook. The little minnows, they can't eat it. Only the slabs can. Let's give a raspberry a go. Let's see if they'll hit a raspberry. I got one on the blackberry. Maybe a raspberry is what we need. I don't know. They don't seem to like the raspberries. All right, I'm bored because I haven't caught one. So we're going to go ahead and retire the raspberries. What's on my arm? Oh, we're going to retire the raspberries and one of the blackberries. I don't know if they'll eat the whole thing or not. They like come right up next to it, but they don't eat it. They're like all schooling up right here now, but they eat it and then they're like, nope. Doesn't taste good. They want to be dumb with the berries, but they can only be so dumb with worms. These worms were actually dug up by my sister and she left them in my house. So I just took them because I didn't know if these fish were gonna actually eat this or not. So, I know they'll eat a worm. So I should catch one, like right now. Should. Huh, guess not. 
they bit a piece of it off. It's kind of hard to feel them, to be honest. Gotcha. Jeez, dude. He's a fighter. He's a slab. He's a slab. Let me reel up my rod. That's just not working out. That's called drag right there, boys. There we go. That's a big one, dude. I don't know if it's as big as number one, but uh, pretty dang good sized one. You know what I'm saying? That's one with the stinking worm, dude. They don't want my dang berries anymore. I just, it's so hard to believe I caught one. Maybe he just like ate it. I put him back and they were like, how'd it taste? And he was like, tasted like crap. Don't ever eat that. So now I just can't get another one to really eat it that good. Because the first one told him that it sucked. That's exactly what happened. It's fish communication. Come on. Eat all the way. Gotcha. <laughs> These things are aggressive, dude. Not gonna lie. Oh. I got a little tiny speck. Oh my gosh. He just ate the little tiny speck. Check it out. All right, we just want one more, and then we'll go ahead and leave. Yep, gotcha. Dang it, dude, why is the little, why is the last one have to be the sm the smallest one? I can't even speak. I was about to say the smittlest one. Ow. Dang it, Jimmy. Ow. Okay, there we go. Last fish of the day right there. Yes, sir. Open your mouth up. All right, A-Dub gang. This is the recap of the day. Question number one. Will a fish eat a berry? Yes, they will. Question number two. Should I use berries as fishing bait? Heck no, because they really don't want to eat it that good. And uh, these juicy things that we love, the brim just really don't like. Bass don't like it either. I didn't get any bass bites. Didn't get any catfish bites. Didn't get any shark bites. Didn't get any, uh, any whatever bites. I, did, I just, I got like a couple bites, but I think it was just a reaction bite. It just was kind of in front of their face. It looked like food, it was moving. So they just decided that they wanted to eat it. I'm pretty sure there is some fish down in like Florida and South America that do eat fruit. Like I'm pretty sure like that's what they feed off of. So this would be kind of cool to try with those fish, but I'm in North Carolina. We don't have fruit eating fish around here. So this is all we got to work with, but I gave it a shot. It was really fun. You know, I was out blackberry picking just as something we do every year. And I just decided, I was like, why not just use it for fishing bait? You know, it could be cool if you can catch one, which I did catch one. I caught one on the berries. So, I mean, it was pretty cool. I'm glad it ended up paying out and I hope everybody enjoyed this. This was a little bit of an experiment for me and uh, it was fun just going out here doing something a little bit different. You know, we do a lot of bass fishing here on the channel, but uh, it was kind of cool just to come up here and see what would bite these berries. I hope everyone enjoyed today's video. If you haven't already, go ahead, leave a big like, go ahead, hit that subscribe button for more crazy awesome content and go ahead and leave me a positive comment down below. We will catch you guys in the next episode. Go catch them. Bluegill, baby, let's go.